Welcome to Java. Now I am going to show you how to install Oracle Graal VM 22.3 Enterprise Edition on Rocky Linux 8 operating system. So this is my Rocky Linux 8.7 uh, operating system information. And I am having an uh, internet connection. So I am having internet connection. So make sure that you have internet connection in, in order to download uh, Graal VM components. See here, I already have internet connection. So this is a virtual machine. So Rocky Linux 8.7 virtual machine. And I want to show you some important thing here. So uh, we need some uh, dependent file. Uh, so that, that is dependencies used by Oracle Graal VM uh, native image. Okay. So these are the dependencies uh, needed by Oracle Graal VM's uh, native image component. So native image component uh, will be using this dependence. Okay. So glibc, gcc, and zlib. Okay. Make sure these uh, components are in. Uh, sorry. Make make sure these uh, RPMs are installed. Okay. In Rocky Linux 8.7 and these. Uh, RPM files are already available in the Rocky Linux DVD ISO file itself. Okay. Okay. Now here you can see that I have already downloaded the Graal VM uh, uh, for Java 17 for Linux as a tar.gz file. Graal VM Enterprise Edition for uh, using which is using Oracle JDK 17 for Linux uh, set data gc file and jar file also i have downloaded okay so first of what we are going to do i am going to extract this uh, oracle graal vem uh, 22.3 to the own location so i will extract to slash opt directory okay so extraction completed so uh, I am going to uh, rename this directory. So I am going to rename this directory. So I am renaming accordingly to my convenience uh, Graal VM hyphen ee hyphen 22.3. That's it. Ee means enterprise edition. Okay. Okay, so this is the directory structure of Graal VM. Uh, so you can see that it bin directory is there. So I can see that GU command is there. JMods directory. So JMods directory, you can see that the Graal VM modules are available here. See, I highlighted the Graal VM modules. Languages directory. So by default, some languages will be installed. So these are the packages available by default next lib directory so lib directory you can see some of the library files uh, will be installed in the lib directory okay so you make a note on bin directory languages directory and lib directory and tools directory you can see this uh, some tools will be installed uh, which will be used for development okay So now what I am going to do, I am going to home directory. Now I am going to set one environment variable. Okay, show hidden files. Okay, I am going to edit the bash profile. So here what I am going to do, I am going to set the environment variable called java underscore home. Okay, so java underscore home pointing to Oracle Graal VM enterprise edition 22.3 bin directory okay so java home pointing to oracle graal vm e 22.3 so export path so i am adding this uh, graal vm enterprise edition 22.3 bin directory to the uh, path variable okay so that graal vm uh, commands which are available in bin directory 
uh, will be available in Linux terminal. Okay, so that we can execute the commands in Linux terminal itself. That's it. Save the file. Now come to the Linux terminal. Okay. <coughs> Source dot bash underscore profile. So this command will uh, what it will do? Uh, this will uh, reload the profile settings. This will reload the profile settings. Now I have, I executed Java iPhone version command. You can see that. Uh, Graal VM environment is set up successfully. Okay, so you can see that Graal VM is pointing to Oracle JDK 17. Okay, so our first command will be GU list. Okay, GU is a Graal VM updater tool uh, which is available in the bin directory. Okay, GU list will uh, give you the list of components installed currently. Okay. GU available command will give you the list of components available for download okay so these are the components available for download so make sure that you have inter internet connection in order to download this component okay okay next step what is uh, what i am going to do i am going to install some component from internet okay so simply i type the command gu install js see here it's asking for a download token okay so because it is downloading the components from oracle website it's asking for a download token i already told that we can reuse the download token see here let me show the download token this download token i have already got it okay so i am going to reuse i am going to reuse this download token so i am not uh, uh, going to generate a new token so using the old token i am downloading the component so gu install js will download and install the js component gu list okay you can see that js component is got installed okay once again i am going to install another component gu install llvm So this will install LLVM runtime core. Next, GU install LLVM toolchain. So this will install LLVM.org toolchain. So uh, toolchain is nothing but C C++ compilers. Okay. Okay. GU install native image. Okay. This native image component is a very very important component. Uh, okay. So I have installed native image component also gu install node.js so this will install the node.js okay you can develop javascript also next gu install visual vm yes so i installed around uh, six components gu list okay you can see that list of components js llvm llvm toolchain native image node.js visual vm so this com these are the basic components uh, needed for development so once again i am revisiting the directory i am going to bin directory you can see that some commands new commands are installed here js command native image command uh, node npm npx command rebuild image okay so these are the new commands uh, installed after installing the components also you can uh, see the changes in the uh, languages directory also so if we go to languages directory means you can see the changes you can see the js is installed llvm installed uh, node.js is installed okay next come to lib directory see here lib directory also changes are there okay so visual vm you know, directory is got created newly okay so you can navigate the uh, directory structure after installing the component if you got a free time uh, navigate the directory structure and changes in the directory okay okay now what I am going to do I am going to remove the components uh, one by one so previously I saw how to install now I am going to show you how to install the component how to uninstall that's how to remove the component so GU remove JS so what is uh, it showing uh, this JS comp uh, component having some dependent file node.js and visual vm which means that 
if you remove js means node js and visual vm will not work so what i am doing i am removing the dependent uh, components also gu remove hyphen d js it will remove all the dependent components see here js also got uninstalled node js and visual vm also got uninstalled okay that is the use of this command okay now i am removing uh, other components separately using gu remove command gu remove llvm gu remove llvm tool chain gu remove native image okay so this will uh, remove the components gu remove will remove the installed components okay so uh, we saw how to install the components uh, online and how to remove the components now what what i am going to do i am going to show you gu install iphone l command okay so gu install iphone l command what it will do it will install the components locally so you can see that the jar file i already downloaded okay so the jar files are nothing but the components which i have installed in uh, previously right those components only so g install js uh, i have downloaded uh, js from online because offline this js command is not uh, available currently so i have installed js online now i am going to install other components locally g install iphone l pointing to the uh, jar file pointing to the jar file uh, path so jar file are nothing but component so i am installing the oracle uh, graal vm components locally so same thing what i have done online i am doing offline okay i am installing the ll llvm run time llvm run time is got installed now llvm uh, tool chain llvm tool chain okay now i am going to install node node js now i am going to install native image now i am going to install visual vm so that's it i think so these are the basic components uh, required for development so other than this uh, you can install uh, multiple languages like ruby python etc etc okay there are more to more tools are there so but the, uh, these are the basic components required for development okay so gu list command will give you the list of commands uh, installed okay now i am going to show you gu info command okay gu info command will give you the details about the component okay gu info js mean it will dis display information about the js component gu info llvm means it will display the information about the llvm okay gu info visual vm means it will display the information about the uh, visual vm component so make use of this uh, gu info command if you don't know the information the about the components so next i am going to show you gu hyphen hyphen show ee token okay so this command will give you the uh, token graal vm token download token which is available under the config file so dot gu which is available under the dot gu directory you can see config file is there so this config file contains the uh, download token so during the first part of the video i copy paste on download token right that same download token only okay so you can reuse this uh, download token okay next um, i am going to opt directory
I am going to Java program. I have Java program. That's one directory called Java programs. It contains hello world at Java. So this will display the welcome message. Welcome to Graal VM and Rocky Linux 8. Okay. So I am going to compile this hello world dot Java using Graal VM. You can see that class file is got generated. Now what I am going to do? Very very important step. Native image command. So native image hyphen cp dot hello world so hyphen cp is nothing but class path dot means current directory okay see here this command what it will do it will uh, generate uh, executable file okay it will convert the class file to the executable file and it will be using the gcc compiler that is it will be using the c compiler to generate the uh, executable file okay see here C compiler is getting used and you can see that these are the Java packages bundled to the executable file Java lang Java util so these all the uh, uh, packages Java packages or modules will bundle to the hello world executable okay now you can see that I am executing the hello world you can see that welcome messages got displayed okay so native image command will convert the hello world dot class file to executable part okay so now what i am going to do i am going to run one c program using the graal vm so okay you can see that hello world dot c is there okay hello world dot c is there i am going to run the c program okay so lli hyphen hyphen version will give you the information about the llvm lll i lli print tool chain path will give you the c c++ compiler path okay i copy this path okay copy this path go to the home directory go to the home directory edit the bash profile so before going to edit the bash profile i am showing the uh, languages llvm native bin directory so you can see that this is the native bin directory so you can see the C++ uh, C compilers are there. That is C lang C C lang plus plus. So these are the compilers available in the path. So I am going to edit the bash profile. Okay. Paste it. So now we can execute the uh, C C++ programs. Okay. Save the uh, save the file. Okay. Save the bash profile come to the linux terminal come to the linux terminal okay don't close the linux terminal what i am going to do i am going to uh, reload the profile settings once again using the source command so i am reload the profile settings so that latest uh, changes in the profile will be updated okay source okay source uh, uh, provide the path where bash profile is located okay now I am checking the C lang version. Yes, you can see that C lang that is C, C compiler is available. Now I am going to compile this hello world dot C. You can see that hello world dot C. So this will display one welcome message. I am going to compile and run this hello world dot C. C lang hello world dot C hyphen O hello world that's it see here one executable hello world file is uh, got created so I simply run using LLI command LLI hello world that's it it will print the uh, welcome message in C program so this is the way we can run the C program using Graal VM in Rocky Linux 8 ok now I am going to show you how to run C++ program. So there is already one directory CPP program. Inside that I am having one C++ program. It will display one welcome message. Okay. Now I am going to check the version of C Lang++. You can see that C Lang++ also available. 
okay so now what i am going to do i am going to compile and run the c++ program using oracle graal vms uh, bundled uh, c c lang++ compiler okay c lang++ hello world.cpp iphan oh hello world you can see that on executable hello world file is created i simply run this file using lli hello world that's it it will display the welcome message so this is the way uh, we can run c++ program using llvm tool chain okay so llvm tool chain is nothing but it's a bundle of clang and clang++ compiler okay. available in gralvm okay so now we are going to see how to run node js okay so there is already one directory called uh, js program so uh, app.js is the name of the file and this is the simple web server program very simple web server program which will display one message in the browser and it will be timed out uh, after uh, 20 seconds okay so node version uh, so node 16.19 is a node.js version available in this graal vm so this app.js program using uh, ANSI span and colors module so i am downloading this uh, node.js packages ANSI span and colors see here ANSI span and color modules are downloaded now what i am going to do i am going to run this app.js program okay so i need a browser i open the browser already node app.js that's it node app.js you can see that web server started so copy the link very simple web server it will display one message and it will get timed out in 20 seconds see here message is got displayed which means that we can able to run the node.js program also using oracle graal vm 22.3 enterprise edition so we have seen the how to install uh, graal vm components how to uninstall the graal vm components uh, uh, how to install the graal vm components locally also so make sure that all dependencies are installed then only you can run the native image compiler so finally graal vm